so I think I call this video the anxiety of a landscape photography vlogger because we're kind of introverted a lot of us are introverted um, landscape photographers um, and I've noticed that with a uh, with a lot of other landscape photographer vloggers we're all pretty much introverts and when you come to a popular place it's really really difficult to vlog with um, people around because you've got people watching you trying to listen in and then sometimes they talk to you and ask you what why are we doing what are you doing out here what are you filming um, it's a nightmare but today the beach is packed even though it's locked down and I've literally seen it more busy here uh, like in previous winters because it's like mid-November now and it's just ridiculous the amount of people there are I can't believe it but the sun's about to go behind a thick layer of cloud and I'm rushing to try and get myself a shot any shot will really do so um got a bit of a weird sky today the um most of the horizon is mostly blocked by um, a thick, thick layer of cloud and you're not going to see the sun for it. But I can see some light coming out the bottom, but there's a peninsula of land over there, um, which is Heartland. I'm at Westwood Ho. I think it's like one of the only names with a exclamation mark at the end of the name. Search it up. Um, but yeah, I'm here today. And then we got above that, there's a mackerel sky that's being lit up by the sun. So what it might do is it might shine onto that mackerel sky and you won't see the sun set but you'll see the sun hitting that mackerel sky like it's doing now and pretty much the tide's going out it's going to go fully out in two hours um, and it's about an hour until sunset now about half three i'm doomed into about 35 millimeter that's 1.3 of a second it's pretty overexposed but it's the best exposure i can get best long exposure because i then the eight, eight on and um, a polarizer so um, I can't really get much darker than that right now. I have got an ND 10 or 1000 but I'm not going to put it on it's going to be too dark and give me about 5 or 10 second exposure and I don't want that. Um, yeah it's absolutely a beautiful scene here. It's really really minimalist uh, and I really really like it. But yeah people walking around everywhere no one's asked me questions yet but uh, Anxiety is always in the back of my mind, and I can never really truly relax. this will be the last time I'd say hopefully you can hear me because um, I'm, I've got a new mic I've got a new recorder and as Sean Malato if you watched it I had a clip mic on but I was recording with my phone uh, the audio so I can't record the audio and the video with the phone because there'll be a massive wire just coming to me so I've got a proper audio recorder now but unfortunately I bought the the, um, the phone the phone clip mic so it's not the right socket as as it is for a camera or recorder so I have got to buy an adapter that's not going to be here for a couple of days so unfortunately this will have to be the last video I use this bloody uh, Rode Video Micro um, but yeah I'm just taking uh, another shot now it's mainly the same thing because it's all the same around here really um, you can't really get many up different compositions unless you find some rocks or something and this beach is just, it's just beach, that's what it is, there's no rocks really. Apart from all the way down there, and if you're going all the way down there, I'm not going to get the sky. So I've walked along the beach a bit more now, and pretty much I'm just shooting another shot of this sky, but it's slightly different now, it's a lot more brighter, there's a lot more colours, because we're getting closer and closer to sunset now. But I've seen, have you seen the sky behind me? Jesus Christ, it's absolutely beautiful. Quite beautiful. Wave. that's more interesting to me so right now I'm just going to finish up this shot and I'm going to head down there and see because um, there's, there's an asteroid 
and that is almost parallel to the estuary. If I can get around that corner to the estuary in time, uh, I can potentially get a beautiful shot here. So I'm being as quick as I can with this shot. I've already taken the shot. It was about 0.3 seconds exposure. And unfortunately I can't expose to the sky and the foreground this time because the sky is reflecting off the foreground. It's a very unique um, situation. Uh, one in which I can't um, exposure bracket. So unfortunately I've had to go for that. I've had to expose correctly for the sky instead of the foreground. And at about 0.3 seconds, um, you can get a pretty good long exposure of the water, but it's not as good as a, you know, a two second one, which I would ideally like. Um, but I think I'm done shooting this way now because I don't think the sun's going to come out much. And there's not many clouds above it left. So I'm going to uh, see if I can run over there and um, get that right. I doubt it because the sun's going to go behind those clouds. It's not going to be able to shine on it anymore. So I guess I've got to go. As you can see, it's quite a bit darker now, and I didn't make it to um, those clouds, unfortunately. The estuary was way too far, and it's still another half a mile on the beach. This beach is really long. Um, yeah, maybe I could, have, uh, I could get my car a bit further, but there's been a lot of water lately, and the main car park has literally turned into a lake. So, put it to Paul Richards. Okay. Don't worry, because there was no, there was no fancy B-roll of me racing around, putting my foot down, none of that, no GoPro footage, first person footage of me driving the car, even that's a photography channel. Don't worry, there was none of that today. I thought I'd give you a break <laughs> from that, and I wanted to keep this video short and simplistic. And for the record, Paul, I reckon I could beat Lewis Hamilton, and he would lose his streak. And there will finally be someone who actually wins other than him. Other than me. No, no. Um, but it's it's been a um, a short little photography trip. I think I only took about two photos. So there's only two times I've got a camera for a composition. Um, but I took a few more than that, you know. But yeah, unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be uh, as nice as I thought. The um, the mackerel sky came over this way, and there's nothing up there. And the sky was shining, and now it's completely cloudy. I didn't see any of the sunset. Unfortunately, but yeah, it's part of something now. It's got the bar. It's time to go. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, I have better audio than I have a clip mic. So, you'll be able to hear me. Alright, and hopefully, next week, next week's video will be a better one as well. Because this was a bit of a bizarre stuff, I guess. So, not my, not my best work. Alright, anyway, see ya.